On June 16, 1964, Papillion experienced the worst flood in its history. Millions of dollars in property were lost, seven people lost their lives, and hundreds lost their homes. Even though this event might seem like a freak accident, it's crucial to note that before the year 1964, Papillion recorded its first major flood in 1887 and experienced 11 major floods between 1887 and 1964. However, none of them were as damaging as 1964. Enough was enough. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers drafted a flood control plan that would be presented in 1967. As a result of the plan, nine dam sites have been built and three more are currently under construction, helping to mitigate the risk of flood damage by Papillion Creek. Papillion has four dam sites, Walnut Creek, Prairie Queen, Big Elk, and Portal. Since the construction of these dams, the worst flood we have had since 1964 was in 1993 and 2019. Though they provide decent protection, the threat of Mother Nature still looms over this system. To gain more knowledge on how the system works, we talked to the general manager of the Papillion Natural Resource District. Um, I'm John Winkler. I'm the general manager of the Papio Missouri River Natural Resources District. We cover a six-county area in northeastern Nebraska, all the way from the confluence of the Platte and the Missouri, all the way up to South Sioux City. So we're responsible for flood control, erosion control, wildlife habitat. The Corps of Engineers kind of started the reservoir building back in the late 60s, early 70s. Um, and then the NRDs were formed in the mid-70s by the Nebraska legislature. So basically we have reservoirs throughout the watershed, and then we have a designated flood plain, which you can't construct anything in there except maybe a park or golf course or something like that. So what they, they're designed to do is catch as much and retain as much as that storm water as they can, and then it will slowly release over the 24 to 72 hour period. Before areas built and you get the rain, it's all soaking into the ground and you get some going into the creeks, but then all of a sudden you get all the concrete and rooftops, that water fast is going into the creek and so it wants to flood. And so really what these are, are reservoirs to hold back that initial rush. And so when there is a big rain event, goes into the recreation area, holds it back so it doesn't go into the creek so we don't end up with the flood event. So that's their primary purpose. When we did Walnut Creek, the thing we did with the NRD is we said, let's build no houses around it, build it for flood control, but also make it a little bit nicer so like it's a park, so it is for the public. And then once it's built, the city will annex it. So then we also end up with a uh, partnership with Game and Parks. So they stock them. So fishing, you can kayak in them. We got the trails around them. So most people aren't even aware they're for storm management. All four of the dam sites in Papillion now are city park recreation areas. May 21st, 2024, the Omaha area receives four to six inches of rain. The creek swells, but the system ultimately protects Papillion from another historic flood. Residents may not know that some of their favorite park areas are Papillion's best defense against flooding. Even though they are known as recreational destinations, they still serve that greater purpose of keeping our community safe. 